Good morning, everyone. So last night I saw a video where an IT professional was basically saying that the the days of the one man computer repair shop like myself. Uh, well, I have my wife who helps me, too. But, yeah, the days of the small computer repair shop are are gone. Um, and for the most part, that is correct. I'm in my area. I, you know, I cover five counties and the 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 number of small repair shops that do the type of work I do has dwindled. When I started back in 2006, there was probably about eight. Uh, and if you're local to me, you'll recognize some of the day the names. You know, there was Landells and Sandusky and Broken Acres. Um, there was a couple of different places in Norwalk and Port Clinton. And Port Clinton, I can't remember, but I think it was... It was a part of the HMC network. Um, I can't remember what they've, they've called. But yes, the days of what they refer to as break and repair, um, those type of services, yeah, it, it's gone. Um, so when I retire out of this field, and I've got many, many years to go, I will be the last of a dying breed. Now, his advice for those people who are going into the IT field is to specialize in a specific type of IT with a secondary and break and fix. And this is true. So if you're going into the IT profession, um, you know, if you're going to a small community college like Terratech or Ohio Business College, they're mainly going to tell you or teach you break and fix. That is a dying field. Um, you will really need to considered then once graduating from those small colleges, um, going on to a bigger college and get your, your bachelor's degree or your master's degree in a specialized field. Now, this is going to be cybersecurity. This is going to be web development. This is going to be healthcare. Um, you know, you're going to learn servers and and uh, remote deployments and, and you know, how to fix computers remotely and so on and so forth because the days of break and fix are pretty much dead. And, and the reason why that is is the industry has just made it really, really simple for the average person to fix a computer nowadays. So if your graphics card has died, you basically rip out the old graphics card, put a new graphics card in, and most modern operating systems will recognize and install the drivers for you. So, like I said, I'm a dying of breed, but I have such a broad uh, range of services that I provide that it compensates for that dying area. So, yeah, so it was the perfect example of this, and I've seen this a couple of times through the years, is um, memory upgrades. So, you know, your, your computer is a couple of years old. You want to play the latest and greatest game, but you're finding out that you don't have enough memory in your computer. Well, if you YouTube it or Vimo it or whatever, you, you discover that adding more RAM to your computer is really simple. You just turn it off unplug it, open up the back or the side panel, pop more memory chips in, turn it on, computer recognizes it, and there you go. The problem is, is a lot of people don't realize that you have to use specific memory to go into specific motherboards. And this is where it comes into, I had probably three last year where people had bought RAM for their computers and bought the wrong RAM. Because if you're going to Best Buy, if you're going to Staples and you're buying it off the shelf, most of the time they have the latest and greatest in technology on the shelf to sell. But your computer is three, four, five years old. And so you're probably one generation or two generations behind. And so when you pop those memory chips into your computer, it doesn't work. I've seen that like I said, three times in the last, just the RAM problem alone. And that's where you need a break and repair specialist. <laughs> so we would be able to look at it and say, hey, this is the wrong memory. Let me get you the right one. And usually in that type of a situation, I'll do a swap with you. Um, you know, because if I've got the RAM on hand, you know, and I've got the right ones to fit your machine 
and the same size that you've bought, you know, I'll do a swap with you. And if there's a price difference, you know, then we can work that out. But yeah, the, the, the days of break and fix are, are dying. They're going away. And the more the price drops on computers, um, the more it's going to be just one of those, just throw it away and buy another one. There is still a whole generation out there that we can still service as break and repair specialists. And this is going to be for the older generation um, or my generation and above um, who don't want to do it, don't have the time to do it, don't, you know, whatever. And so that's why they come to me or I go to them. Um, one of the things that we offer is in home service, <clears throat> you know, for that type of, uh, you know, because there are people who don't have driver's license. There are people who don't have transportation. There are people who are, I believe the word is argophobic, where they're afraid of the outside. We have one or two people in the five counties area that I know of who are that way. Um, and so this is where it becomes necessary for me to go to them. So just to reiterate what this gentleman was saying, break and fix one man shops. Yeah, it's a dying. Um, get the tools that you need to do it. Keep it as a side hustle if you want to. But yeah, um, learn the specialties. Get into web development. Get into coding. Get into, you know, the healthcare industry. Get into cybersecurity. Um, and then just have the break and fix stuff um, as a secondary. Uh, because it will make you money. I mean, someone asked me to put in a video card. I've got a brand new video card sitting on the shelf. It's worth $400. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> you know, this person may come in and, and buy it, take it home, put it in. It doesn't work. That's because their computer can't accept the card. They didn't ask any questions. So this is where a break and repair specialist comes in. Or as I refer to as myself, a generalist. You know, I, you know, like a good backyard mechanic, I know a little bit about everything, but not enough to be really, really super good at one thing. So, yeah, if you are going into the IT profession, this is for the young kids. Again, go specialize. Go specialize in something that is a growing field. Break and repair is not it. Um, there's nothing wrong with break and repair, but you're in a smaller community like where I'm at. Um, the, the break and repair field is dying. You know, people have phones, people have tablets, um, you know, or they buy a cheap $200 laptop and when it dies in a year and a half, they just go buy another one. You know, what can you do? But yeah, for everything else, um, like I said, keep it as a, as a side hustle because you will make money off a side hustle doing this. But yeah, but you're, you're not going to do what I've done, which is open up a store, you know, just for that purpose. So yeah, I thought I would throw that out there. This man wasn't wrong. You know, and those who are going into the IT profession should really specialize in a growing field. And like I said, that's going to be cybersecurity. That is going to be the healthcare industry. That is going to be web development, you know, coding, artificial intelligence, you know, stuff like that. So just my thoughts and opinions. Take it as you wish. Leave comments if you want. Like, share, subscribe and all that stuff. You know, here's all the social medias we're on. Talk to you all later. You guys have a great day.